Today we got another South Park episode to check out, and this is Woodland Critter Christmas. Listen, this one was highly requested, especially after I reacted to Imagination Land Part 1, which we're going to continue on to Part 2 and Part 3, but we're going to be checking out this one right here first. Do me a solid. If you've been enjoying all of the South Park content, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and join the family. Let's make it official. You feel me? But y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Way up in the mountains in a small little town, the main street was being decorated all up and down. People stood in long lines, sometimes waiting hours or more, because Christmas needs to be bought. They're in definitely in a Christmas spirit. But out in the forest, not too far away, the little woodland critters were also preparing for their Christmas day. It's almost time when the time is here, the time that's only once a year. We can hardly wait because it's so near, a woodland critter Christmas. The little critters worked hard as they happily sang, and each one of them had a quite interesting name. There was Squirrely the squirrel, Rabbity the rabbit, Beavery the beaver, and Barry the bear, <laughs> Porcupiney the porcupine, Skunky the skunk, Foxy the fox, and Deary the deer. Bro, they wood got Mary, the wood. They got some of the dumbest. <laughs> like the names are mad creative, bro. Like Barry the bear, Foxy the fox, Deary the deer. Right? Yo, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Pecker, Mousy the mouse, and Chickadee -ee, the chickadee all made the forest their house. Well, hello there. Welcome to our forest. How do you like our Christmas tree? It's nice. What? It's the most perfect tree in the forest. Yay! 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 Hey, they're oh, grateful, no. man. I see a problem. What is it, Mousy? Our Christmas tree doesn't have a star. Oh. oh. We can't have a tree with no star on it. What are That's we gonna do? Now don't be down, y'all. Maybe our new friend can help us find a star. Can you help me? Oh, would you really? Yeah, 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 can you help me, please? Okay, okay. Yay! Yay! The little critters cheered, and Beavy said with a smile, How would you like to sing and dance with us for a while? The boy in the red poofball hat smiled and said, Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> Not expecting that. Oh Yay! hell nah! Oh what? His friends were all. Y'all gotta go home, bro. Y'all gotta go home. The little boy smiled with joy in his eyes. What time is it? You aren't gonna believe what happens, Danny. It's the most magical Christmas gift ever. Porcupiney is pregnant. You guys, I have to go to school tomorrow. Right. I deduce the man boy doesn't understand the seriousness of the fertilization. Porcupiney is a virgin, Stanny. Her conception was immaculate. She's gonna give birth to our Lord and Savior. What? It has been foretold unto me that I will give birth on Christmas Day. So soon! How delightful! Our souls are saved! Finally, the critters are gonna have a Savior of their very own of their very own! Yo, what in the Jesus Christ? There's just one problem. We don't have a manger for our Savior to be born in. Aww. Aww. But we got to have a manger. Can you do it, Stan? Can you build us a manger, huh? Yo, I don't, all right, at first, I thought these, these little critters were cute, right? But now, I'm starting to catch on that, like, they make you feel bad before they ask for something. You know what I'm saying? You ever met people like that? I know I have, you know what I mean? But first, it was like, yo, this is the most beautiful Christmas tree ever. We love our Christmas tree, but our Christmas tree doesn't have a star. Now it's like, yo, she's pregnant. She's about to give birth to our savior. And we're happy as hell, but we got nowhere to deliver the baby. Nowhere to live. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, I'm on to you, bro. I'm on to you. But back to it. Let's get it. And out in the woods, the boy steamed right ahead. He's half asleep. a place for the critter babe to lay its sweet head. Gee whiz, if it isn't the nicest manger I ever saw. I deduce it shall serve as a perfectly suitable resting place for the son of our Lord. Does this mean we can go to sleep now? My son will have the nicest bed in all the forest. Fit for a king. This is going to be the best creator Christmas ever. It's almost time when the time is here. The time that's only once a year. going now. You so near. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh hell 
Nah. That's Scar off of a uh, off a of Lion King. Is it gone? I deduce it is. I'm not c, c, c coming out. Well, this is the end. The mountain lion obviously knows Porcupine is pregnant, and he's gonna kill it again. Again? So they go through this every year? That that's gotta suck, bro. Aww. Aww. <laughs> hey, we shouldn't be upset this Christmas. We've got Stanny. Of course, Stanny can do anything. If he can build a manger, he can stop that mean old mountain lion. Christmas is safe. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> y'all ain't volunteering me for this, bro. I'm not stopping any mountain lion. Nope. Nope. That's on you, bro. Survival of the fittest. High up in the forest, on a dark, craggly peak, the horrid mountain lion lived and preyed on the weak. For the critters to be saved, someone had to stop that nasty nah. cat. God damn it, this is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Said the little boy in the red poofball hat. All, all of those critters would be dinner for this mountain lion. I'm not getting involved, bro. I'm not getting in the way of nature being nature. You feel me? Gang! Gang! Come on out! Come on, critter killer. Your days of slaughtering innocent little animals are over. Rawr! Bro, it worked? In a flash, it was over. A victorious blow. The mountain lion lay slain on the cold below. Mommy? <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> no! Wake up, Mommy, wake up. Don't leave us, Mommy. <laughs> man boy, why? Why did you kill her mommy? Why? Part of a man boy? I... The critters. They're... Birth of the savior? Oh, <laughs> no! The tiny cubs Poor all cubs. gathered together and cried. All alone in the world because their mother had died. Damn! Oh, oh. Stanny, you're alive. But does that mean you killed the mountain lion? It's dead. For real and for true? Are you sure? I'm sure it won't be hurting you anymore. He did it. Now our Critter Christmas can finally happen. Hail Satan. Hail, Hail Satan. Satan. Wait, what, what? You Yo! got us a flavor, Stanny. Without the mountain lion around, Lady Porcupine can give birth to the Antichrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my <Antichrist> God. <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that. You see, that's why you mind your business and you don't get involved, bro. Now, now this is your fault. Stan, you did this, bro. Try to be a nice guy. You couldn't say no. You know what I'm saying? And now you ruined it, bro. You, you dropped the ball. You dropped the ball. He was giving birth to your savior. Yes, to the son of our Lord, Satan, the prince of darkness. But I thought you meant the son of God. Well, think about it. You really think God would have sex with a porcupine? No way! <laughs> Only Satan, Prince of Darkness, and King of All Evil would do that! Yay! This is calls for celebration! Let's sacrifice oh Rampin and his flesh! Yay! Sacrifice me to the devil! Yay! Yay! I was not expecting that at all, bro. These evil critters. Drink his blood! Drink his blood! Oh my god! Bro, what is happening right now? Yo, he is scarred for life. In the gentle wow. forest clearing on Christmas Eve morn, the little forest critters prepared for the Antichrist to be born. The and they flipped mountain it upside lion down. Stopped evil in all the years past, but now the good protector lay dead as the good owls amassed. And meanwhile, three lion cubs were crying away. For them, there would certainly be no Christmas Day. And soon the forest would suffer from the offspring Satan begat. All of this because of the little boy in the red poofball hat. <laughs> <laughs> now that he'd killed the noble lion queen, there was nobody to stop the apocalypse, it seemed. <laughs> I know, he said with a new happy grin. I'll go back to the forest and speak with those critters again. No, 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 no. Bro, just kill the, um, 
kill the uh who was pregnant, bro? The porcupine? Just kill the porcupine. You'll be alright. I came here to put a stop to all this. To stop us? But gee whiz, Stan, if you tried to stop us, we'd have to use our evil satanic powers on you. Right, whatever. I'm taking down hold the on, major hold I built. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Evil satanic powers? You could have used that on the mountain lion? Yo, they do have powers. Oh, that's crazy. Damn. Nothing can stop the birth of the Antichrist except for a mountain lion. And you got rid of her. Yay! Hello? Anybody in there? Oh no, it's the man boy who killed mommy. He's come to kill us now. It's okay. I died inside when mommy was killed anyways. Oh, that's yeah, sad. Yeah, this than the slow death we'd face without a mother around. Look, I'm sorry I killed your mom. The, the squirrel told me she was evil. You got tricked by a squirrel? Gee, you're not too smart, are you, mister? <laughs> there still has to be a way for you to kill the porcupine's baby. What? You mean like in an abortion? <laughs> yeah, an abortion. That could work. But we don't know how to give abortions. Do you know some place we can learn, mister? Where can they learn that? The boy said with a frown. I know the abortion clinic just outside of town. What? So he picked up the cubs and down the mountain he stormed and took them to where abortions are performed. Why, no, bro? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Oh, God oh damn it. my the boy God. in the red hoofball hat. We've made it already, little cubs. Fancy that. Christmas Bro, time stop. is once a year. No Every way. Holds it dear. But this is crazy. And it happens once a year. Ew, that is not sanitary. Time. It's almost time when the time is here. The time that's only once a year. Oh, look. That little feller is all alone. Gee, he looks sad. Oh. What the hell? No. No, they're trying. Oh, my God, bro. They're going to get. No, 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 no. They're going to get Kyle to be the host. God, we did it. The creator Antichrist is born, bringing a oh. thousand years of darkness to the forest. <laughs> the Antichrist had been born. Sealing the world's fate, the boy in the red poofball hat was too late. Too late? What the hell is that? Oh, hi, you Stan! Stan! Stan, what the hell is going on? It's oh my Christmas God! It sucks ass. Now what we got to do is put the Antichrist into our human host. When up in the sky, the sound of sleigh bells were heard, and a jolly red Santa? sleigh flew down to the earth like a bird. Hey, look! It's Santa Claus! Let's eat his flesh? All right, what the hell is going on? There's only one way to stop devil-worshipping critters. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, what the... No! Okay, cool. Come on, dude. Get the baby, get the baby. Hey, with Santa, you're not gonna kill me, are you? Let's go! No, I want to have the Antichrist inside me. What? Kyle? With his power, I can finally make the Earth a better place for the Jews. Don't do it, Kyle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you idiot! Dude! Yes! Yes! Now the Jews shall take control of Christmas once and for all! Oh <laughs> my god! Oh, stop it, you are reading another sense of your stupid story. Oh, it's a story. I don't believe it. <laughs> and of course, it will be Cartman behind it all, bro. Oh, my God. Ha, ha, ha. Now I shall rule the... Uh, uh, got it, birds. Uh, my soul is on fire. Uh, oh, I don't like this. I didn't know it would feel so, so dark and evil. Well, what did you expect, dude? It's the son of the devil. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? I'm sorry. Please, I don't want to be the vessel for the Antichrist. I'm sorry, but it's too late, Kyle. Santa's going to have to kill you. No, Damn. Santa, don't. We don't have a choice. 
In a few hours, the dark creature inside him will consume his soul. The little boy fretted. He almost started to bawl. But that's when he came up with the best idea of all. Now, Cubs, do like they showed you. Hurry up fast. Get the Antichrist out of my friend Kyle's ass. Oh my god, no, bro! And in the twinkling starlight, each little cub did their portion. They remembered all they had learned and gave Kyle an abortion. Oh, it worked! It worked, I was about to say. Oh my god! Thanks, everybody. I'm sorry I got a little crazy there. Well, little boy, it seems I didn't think it. I didn't think it would have worked because... It looked like energy went inside of Kyle, not the actual creature. You feel me? You have really been through a lot. Is there any special present you would like this year? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Oh, oh that's dope. What happened? Mommy? Yay! Mommy! You got your best Yay! Mommy! I miss you, oh, Mommy! Good. Yay. And back home, there were presents, and lots of food to get fat. And it was the best Christmas ever for the boy in the red poofball hat. And they all lived happily ever after. Except for Kyle, who died of AIDS two weeks later. <laughs> God damn it, Christmas time is one thing. Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. I definitely enjoyed this episode, man. This was Woodland Critter. Christmas. Shout out to everybody that told me to check this out, man. This was dope as hell. Do me a solid, man. If you've, if you've been enjoying the South Park journey, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.